hey what is up guys CGTV here today this video is more for people who have purchased the hyperdrive USB type C hub for iPad Pro uh, having issues with the headphone jacks not outputting the music or the charging cable is not charging or even if you plug in uh, anything certain IO will not work so hyperdrive has released the Mac OS firmware update as long as you go to the website download and follow their instruction you should be able to update your device you should have a working condition uh, right now they have released two versions so the window version and also the Mac version but sad to say that people who are having their iMac it's hard for them to update their devices because it's USB type C so the only way right now is that you have to purchase this adapter from USB type C to USB in order for you to plug it into your iMac to update this version without the adapter you can't do it so people who have the MacBook Pro it's very simple just plug in install and that's it if it doesn't flush completely right you have to use this extension cord so let me just change it first so i believe everyone should have this kickstarter box when purchase from them Inside this box has the screwdriver and all that basically just unscrew everything and change the extension cord. Once you change it to the extension cord, just plug it into your MacBook Pro. Be sure your hyperdrive have this blue LED light lighted up before you do the installation. So everything is ready and you go into the website and download the file. Then you'll see these four files inside the folder just click on the update icon and automatically it will run support it will run everything for you it will start checking this up start updating by themselves you don't have to do anything it will run 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 and it will tell you if once it's completed so the next thing is to check the version so click on the first one the get ft so and so Check on the version. Make sure it's 8A.24.10.14. Once you check it, it's correct. And congratulations, your device has been updated. Alright, guys, right now I'm going to test this updated version for you guys. So, first thing first, charging port. I have a charging cable. So it's charging. Okay. Let's test this micro SD. Okay. So So it pops up again. This is all my photo. Okay. So the IO work. USB. here I have my 3.5 mm headphone jack over here I'm not sure whether you can hear this but I will test test it out later on um, last but not least is the HDMI cable and this is 
empty. So it works. It's still charging. Let me test the video. So I have my microphone with me. Not sure whether you can hear, but yeah, it's playing behind. So yep. So now it works, guys. Let's give Hyperdrive team a thank you. Although they didn't do a great job in the first place, but hey, they released updated version for us. Although it's hassle, it's troublesome, at least something, right? Unlike some company, they sell you a product, everything doesn't work, and just run away, doesn't keep you updated. I mean, who would you prefer? For people who are angsty against the uh, Mac versions releasing late, as you all know, Apple has a strict implementation of software and program runs on Apple devices. So usually they will have to do this security check, this and that. And Apple has to ensure that they didn't release anything harmful for the device and privacy matter. So I believe it's hard for them to. As compared to Windows, Windows is much more easier to create program. By the way, life is short man. Live life the fullest. And this is just really a small matter. Alright guys, it's the end of the video. If you find this video useful, please let me know with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Okay, thanks, bye!